Hello friends, welcome to Unity Scripting API Time Essentials video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorial, we discussed why delta time in games. We know that generally in any game, delta time is a variable responsible for holding time taken to execute a frame. Delta time is used to update state of a game object independent of game's FPS value. Delta time is used to update state of a game object per second instead of per frame. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss time dot delta time and time dot fixed delta time. Delta time and fixed delta time are public static variables of time class. Let's start with time dot delta time. Time dot delta time is most commonly used inside update method. Let me go to Unity. You can see that I have created a cube. Then I created a mono behavior script. I attached it to the cube game object. Within the mono behavior script, I have written update event method and fixed update event method. Within the update method, I say debug dot log time dot delta time. We are going to display the value of delta time on every update call. I say file save time dot delta time when used within the update method, it returns time passed in seconds since the last update method call. That is how much time has been took to execute the last update method call. As games FPS fluctuates, sometimes execution of last update method call takes more time, sometimes less time. Hence time dot delta time within the update method varies. Unity tries to execute the update method as quickly as possible. Sometimes the update method takes more time to execute. Sometimes the update method takes less time to execute. So time dot delta time is going to vary. It is not going to be the same value always. Let me show that I go to Unity. I click on the console window and then I click on the play button. Let me show the stats here. You can see that the game is running sometimes at 70 frames per second sometimes 68 frames per second, sometimes 75 frames per second. Let me stop it and I just uh, close the statistics. And also you can see that the time dot delta time has returned sometimes 0 0.02 value and then it has returned 0 0.33 value, then it has returned 0 0.01 value, then it has returned 0 0.02 value. You can see that the time dot delta time is varying depending upon how much time the update method is taking to execute. Time dot delta time is going to return a fraction of a second guys. Remember that time dot delta time when used within the fixed update method, it returns time passed in seconds since the last fixed update method call. That is how much time has been took to execute the last fixed update method call. As fixed update method is called after every 0.02 seconds, time dot delta time within the fixed update method does not vary. It always returns 0.02. We can use time dot delta time within the fixed update method also. I am going to copy this code and paste down and I comment this code. This time we have written debug dot log time dot delta time within the fixed update method. We know that fixed update is called after every 0.02 seconds. So time dot delta time is going to display 0.02 seconds continuously. If I say file, save, go to unity, I click on the play button, you will see 0 0.02, 0.02, 0.02, 0.02, 0.02 continuously getting displayed after every 0.02 seconds. So if you use time dot delta time, within the update method it is going to vary if you use time dot delta time within the fixed update method it is not going to vary we know that update is called once per frame depending upon the game's frames per second sometimes update method takes more time to execute sometimes update method takes less time to execute so time dot delta time varies but remember that time dot delta time is always used to update the state of a game object per second no matter the, uh, whether the game is running at high FPS or low FPS. Let's proceed further and get more information. Time dot delta time is used to update state of a game object per second instead of per frame. Let me go back to mono develop here. I'm going to comment this code and what I want actually is I want to move the cube five units per second. So how do we write the code guys? We say this dot transform dot position plus equal to new vector three 
5f, 0f, 0f. We do not want to move the cube up or down. So here I have given 0f. We do not want to move the cube front or back. So here I have written 0f. We only want to move the cube towards right. So in the x I have given 5f value. If I execute this code, what actually happens is, if game is running at 50 frames per second, then the cube is going to move 5 into 5, that is 25, 250 units per second. The cube is going to move 250 units per second, guys. If game is running at 100 frames per second, then what happens? The cube is going to move 500 units per second, guys. But we want to move the game object independent of game's FPS. We want to move 5 units per second. So we have to use time dot delta time. Let me show what happens without using the time dot delta time. I just say file, save, go to unity. I switch the layout to 2 by 3 layout. So I say here 2 by 3 and I click on the play button. You see that cube is going to move very fast. You can see that the cube has moved very fast, right? I click again on the play button. The cube is moving very fast, but we want to move the cube 5 units per second. So simply we have to use multiplied by time dot delta time. I say file, save and uh, go to unity. If I click on the play button, now it is going to move 5 units per second, no matter whether the game is running at high FPS or low FPS guys. So it is frame independent code. So based on the time we are moving the game object. So I hope you guys have clearly understood what is the use of time dot delta time. Let's proceed further and understand time dot fixed delta time. Time dot fixed delta time must be used inside fixed update method. Let me go back here. This time I say debug dot log time dot fixed delta time and I comment this code. I say file save. Let me go to word time dot fixed delta time when used inside update or fixed update method. It always returns time passed in seconds since the last fixed update method call that is how much time has been took to execute the last fixed update method call. We know that fixed update is called after every 0.02 seconds time dot fixed delta time does not vary it always returns 0.02 guys. I go to unity again I switch back to default layout I click on the console window and I click on the play button you will see 0.02 getting displayed continuously you can see that the time dot fix delta time is returning 0.02 continuously. Remember that time dot fix delta time must be used within the fixed update method. Note time dot fix delta time is used to update state of a game object per physics update. Whereas time dot delta time is used to update state of a game object per second instead of per frame that is independent of games frame rate guys. That's it guys for this video tutorial. I hope you guys have clearly understood time dot delta time and time dot fix delta time. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about the time class and its various properties. We see different examples when to use which property etc etc etc. For this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again, understand everything clearly. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.